Hi, we're Race and Retro, and we're back at the Stafford Bike Show to take a look at the Bonhams auction. We're going to be having another go at the Price is Right. Not Price is Wrong, more like. Price is Wrong, yeah, more yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, one, we yeah. weren't very good. Yeah. Anyway, feel free to have a go in the comments below on the Hammer Price. On the Hammer Price. On the yeah. Hammer Price. And we are going to be focusing on some of the show highlights, one of which is a bike that's got more cylinders than Keith's got chins. Mm. And that's a lot of cylinders. So go and have a look. Go and have a look. Good guy. One of the show highlights that I'm pretty keen on seeing is the one, this multi-cylinder. mental, isn't it? It's mental, it's absolutely mental. It's as long as a boat. It's got more cylinders than he's got chins. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is that? Good Lord. It's long. Look where it starts, look where it finishes. Like, Big question is. Dana, is that longer than you? Uh, let's I try. I don't know, should I try let's it? Let's try it. I think that's longer than you. How tall are you? Six, three and a half. It's definitely longer than him. I mean, because this is what people want to know. <laughs> is it longer than a long person? Oh, mate, you don't even cut your... You, it's longer than you like that. <laughs> you could stand that is on mental. shoulders and it'd still be longer. In fact, that one there is longer than you. No, it's physically aren't long enough to reach. Yeah. So how many cylinders has it got? Well, it says here, a 48 cylinder. Right. So 48 cylinders, six banks of eight. Yeah. KH250. Okay, yeah. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's got 49 cylinders because there's another cylinder under the seat. Oh, uh, start motor. Single motor. cylinder. It's like a two, Vespa. It's a 125 single cylinder. Right. Unsilenced. Start a motor. I think, I mean, for me. That's How do you start the start motor then? Has, so that, got, has that got so a. You flick that switch on, yeah, and, and then that, you press the red button. Ah, and it does, does that? A, does that? And then that thumb control there yeah. operates the throttle on the start. Oh, okay, so you could ving, 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 yeah, yeah. And then, and then turns it turns this over. The rest of the My God, things. it's bonkers. Yeah, that's not a tank, right? It looks like a tank. Yeah. So where's the fuel tank then? Is that just sort of sitting in, in the middle of all um, in between the engine blocks? In between the it? cylinders. Yeah. 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 It's got what? 24 into one either side. Shame. That's right. some weight on this though, isn't there? Like what? Yeah. I mean, it's just going to, it just wants to collapse in the middle, surely. It's 600 kilos, this is. Same weight as me then. <laughs> it's the same weight as you. Yeah. 600 kilos, 125 mile an hour. Allegedly. Who's, buy, who's buying this then, do you reckon? Like, who? A lunatic. <laughs> not, not me. Who's <laughs> <laughs> buying this, but you it's got to be someone that's got a, like a museum or something because it, it, the one thing it does do it gets attention, doesn't it? it does it's get attention. Yeah. But you if it falls over, oh, you f <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not picking that up, are you? To just I to, to buy this. What was it built for? What was it built for? I think it was for? just yeah, world record. Yeah, it? just a world record breaking bike. It was built to be the, the the land vehicle with the most cylinders, which it has by some way out. So this bike has actually seen Roy Castle's trumpet. Yeah. Christ above, I mean, it's got some good. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even move it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, it broke the stand that it came in on, so, yeah. Wow. No, I'm not rocking it off. Do you want to, do you want to bunk up? Just getting yourself ready. We're saying that's in Canic, this is in Stafford. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to reach. Yeah. And I can almost read the numbers. Oh, he's there! <laughs> to be fair, I think this fits me. <laughs> I mean, you look, you look great on it. <laughs> Good God, I want to get off of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. There you go. So, guide price 40 to 60,000 pounds. I don't think it'll sell. I think it's going to be. What do you think the hammer? What do you think the, the hammer, hammer come down on? I'm going to go twelve thousand pounds. 
thousand. I think there's some lunatics out there, and someone will pay probably a little bit more than that. With a guide price being forty to sixty, I'm going to go for about. 16. 16. 16. Bear in mind it's reduced from half a million pounds. <laughs> Why is it reduced from half a million? Because no one would buy it. <laughs> exactly. So it's a fair reduction already. Mm. But you know, if you can build that and make it run, then fair place, hats yeah. off to you because yes, um, you know, I could barely get a single cylinder to run. Yeah. So you, you Proper know, eccentric yeah. British it is, engineer yeah, which is, and insert. Which is so something in itself. And yeah. So you know, we take the piss all you want. And we do, but you know, <laughs> yeah. it, it is a creation, and that's yeah. that's something well, in itself, I'll isn't it? I'll go for I'll go for twenty. I'll give the highest twenty grand. Yeah, and good luck in yeah. selling it. Good luck in selling it. So, what do you think? Let us know. Comments, in the comments below. below. <laughs> yeah, comments below. Yeah, brilliant. That's the perfect size for you, isn't it? It is. It is. Is it bigger than a mini moto? Yeah, it looks a bit bigger, doesn't it? Slightly taller. And the bigger wheels, aren't they? I think they're the bigger gauge wheels. Yeah. So what do we know about this? So it's a single cylinder, not made by MV in any single way, just made to look like one. So single cylinder, one into four megaphone exhausts. Yeah. But yeah, no, I quite like that. Yeah, it's a nice little piece. Four to six hundred quid. Is that all? That's all. You have some fun around the garden on that, couldn't you? I think that'll sell. Yeah, someone buy that. It's just someone will buy that. I think it's a beautiful little thing. Ah, it's much longer, isn't it? What about now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah, so you've got to be of a certain age to talk about these bikes, haven't you? Like you, you're old, so you'd be okay. But like me and Ant could talk about 90s bikes. But that big long thing, you're talking about that forever, aren't you? Hey, well, that's, that is James May. James <laughs> May. C90, so we're gonna have a look. Let's have a look at that. Does it add more value because it's James Mays' old bike? It must do, must it? It's guide price, 800 to 1200 quid, so unless someone wants it just because it's James Mays. Just it's... Sorry, 10,000 miles. All right. So it's not even like mega low miles. I reckon James May on this still not had it flat out. Would you buy that because it was James Mays or not? No. I wouldn't. I like James May. If someone like Pamela Anderson owned this, it would fetch more money because she'd smell the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Horrific. <laughs> Horrific. Come on. Man. The scratches. I like yeah. these. That is really nice. I like that. I'm pretty sure I had a poster of one of them. Did you? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I had a poster, definitely. CB 1100R. I like it. I do too. It's very nice. That well, it's just stubby little exhaust. Like what year is this then? It's oh. got to be eight. 83 maybe as well? Yeah. So C 80. was 85, 86, yeah. making B, B 85, 80, 84, 85, making A 83, 84. 83, 84, yeah. 1983. I like it. It's nice. 1984. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was not far off then. No? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. I quite like that. Now, for me, my favourite GSXR. 750 this is. I just, I re and I like the colour. I think it's probably one of my favourite colours. And just a, I just love this. I think, I think this could be a bike. What year could, was this then? What, oh, don't tell me. I'm going to say 89 G Reg. I like the colour, it was quite stubby. It's got a cute little face. It's just an, I reckon you could buy this bike, right? sit on it for 10 years and make a bit of money. This, this, well, this type of bike. This type it's of like bike, a low yeah. mileage version. What year is this then? What years are we saying this is? 89, 90. So 89, 90. You're probably looking at, you're saying sit on this for how long? 10 years. So you'll be, the potential buyer for this in 10 years time will be 70 years old? 60. Late 60s. Hmm. Well, I was, these are the bikes I had when, you know, when I was growing up, these were the, these were the cult bikes. So I'd be, in 10 years time, I'd be late you, 50s. You still haven't grown up though, mate. I so. know, yeah. But I, yeah, I think these type of bikes are, you might make some money on. Because these, these are gone now, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're gone. These have gone yeah. over the other side. Because the people that were buying these, are, 
Or dead. They're just too old or, or, or dead, yeah. Or dead. Yeah. But these, I think, if you wanted to make it, invest a bit of money in bikes, maybe these is where, it, where it's at. So, for me, this is the best looking GSX-R750 they ever made. Big statement. Yep. I like the s rad I did. The way? Yeah. Do you? For me, this one. Comments, add some comments in. Let us know what you think. What, which it, is the best GSX-R? Which is the best GSX-R750? Which is the best looking GSX-R750? And if anyone that doesn't agree, you're all wrong. Because it, it's that. So the guide price on this, oh, it's, it's, it's a narrow window. Okay. Three and a half to four and a half thousand pounds. I'll go three seven five. Oh, slap in the middle. What have you gone for? I haven't gone yet. Oh, you go next then. Okay, three seven five. Three seven five. Just for the, just for the clarity. I think smack in the middle more. would be four grand, but anyway. I'm going to go for. I think it'll fetch four one. I think it's going to fetch. Oh, it's got a little. Oh, it's got a few marks on it, hasn't it? Even there. Is that a dent in the tank there? It is. It's got a dent in the tank. A mark on the frame. I'm going to say 3,300. Absolute bargain. That's what I'm going to go for. 3,300. Below guide. All right. I reckon in 10 years' time that'd be worth at least 3,800. <laughs> Ooh, Sound it. investment advice from Racing Retro. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Little 851 here? Yeah. So I'm not sure. I oh, really? Mm. In what way? What do you like about it? I like, I like it's got it. It's Micron exhaust on. I like end cans. Yeah. I like the white frame, the white wheels. Yeah. I like that. I always like this bit of detail. It's just not. I like these, I did. The mirrors were cool. Well, maybe not, you know. Maybe not that one. Not that one. one. <laughs> This mirror's cool. <laughs> I like that. 407. I, I, wow, that's quite expensive. Mm. Yeah, these are they hold the value of well, the yeah. Six to ten thousand pounds the guide price on this. It's got eight clocks, the white clock, sixteen thousand miles on it. I reckon that someone will buy that, wouldn't they? It's back to you first, son. Are we having a bid on this? I'm yeah, going to say. So. so what was it? Six to ten. Yeah. Six to ten. Seven and a half. I was going to go with that. I'll go 8-2. Um, no. I'll go 7. And next to it, another late ZX 80s, 10. early 90s icon, ZX10. I think we all had a poster of one of these, didn't we? Yeah, I think this may have replaced my CBR 1000F poster. I think these two together look like the uh, the front cover from Road Rash. Remember the uh, old yes. Sega game? Yeah. This is clean as well. It is clean, this isn't is it? This is clean. Look at the, the back of the rear end, though. It's wonderful. I bet it's just this shy of 20,000 as well on the clock, which is nothing. I'm not sure that the, the, the fuel cap is carbon, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Or the, or the yolks. <laughs> and I'm not keen on the massive rack on the back. You like a good rack, don't you, Keith? Can't beat a good rack, mate. Can't beat a good rack. Are we talking boobs? <laughs> that we're talking about? <laughs> Is it? The boobies. You really, you really haven't lived, have you? <laughs> Just in case anyone wondered, he's been in a box for the last 40 years. <laughs> yeah, really? Are, you, are we not ribs or are we not boobs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, rack of ribs, mate. Rack of ribs, mate. <laughs> <laughs> not one for the vegans. <laughs> one for the rack of ribs. But I really like that. Right, what's the guy press on this? Might go first, is it? Oh, is we're going to go on this as well. Yeah, we're, we're here. Man alive. You could barely buy a packet of cigarettes. 2.8 to 4,000. 2.8 to 4K, this. See, what you've got to think, though, is who's buying this? This is... Who's buying this? You know is what it? this is? This is another one of them ZX7 things. This this will be worth nothing. Yeah. Won't and, it? But who's buying it? Is it somebody buying this to use it as a daily commute? Possibly yes. Yeah, because it's still capable. It's still capable of doing It'll stuff. It'll shift. This will take you to Scotland and back. No yeah, problem, Yeah, but it's it? comfortable. I bet it's got, I don't know what the tank range is, but I bet, you know, it's got some fuel in it. And I and reckon it'd still do 160 mile an hour, that. Again, it was probably someone like us that had a poster yeah. of one of these. It's not going to cost much. No. I'm going to go in first at three. Three K. Three. I'm going to go two and a half. Really? Ooh. 
They don't think Kawasaki's hold their money, do they? They don't seem to, do they? Two and a half grand, I think, which I think would be ace. It's almost like a high-speed retro... What's the word? Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Mm. I'm going to go two, three. Even lower? Yeah. Lower. yeah I didn't I... want to go higher, though, but I think you, I think you might be sort of... On the money there. We'll see. Well, who knows? Who knows? Well, well, well I, I'll if you've seen our last video, then you'll know that by well, the way off. Just in case. These are nice, aren't they? I was never a fan of that one, though. Oh, the 999? No. no. I yeah. think they ruined the 999, didn't they? This. But they did well, the super bikes, so didn't it? Toesland, one in Hodgson, one on these, didn't they? The indicators in the wing mirrors are horrendous on that, aren't they? Who do you think? This one, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I, it was the headlights for me. I didn't like this setup. I think it's the whole, it's got teddy bear look at it. Okay, a one eye teddy bear. A one eye teddy, yeah. <laughs> kind of teddy bears you have in your house, mate, where all the, the, the eyes are stuck vertical. <laughs> Christ. Yeah. It's after the dogs, isn't it? One for you, Aaron. Yeah, I like this. Ten air. Me too. Fan of that. The favourite bit about this is the stand. I don't like it. I don't understand why you can't, why, why can you not like that? Now. This. Now this. For, for me, this, best bike in this show. I love this. I think so. Um, of course, it's not uh, actually Freddie Spencer's bike. It's no, just a, it's like, the, uh, it's but it the, is. Um, it's it's oh. a Pucker RS500 though, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, we've just seen the uh, the guide price, so we'd rather you move it if that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, but for that guide price, I'm not touching it. <laughs> mm, so it's a Honda RS500. Uh, it's not actually Freddie Spencer's, though. It's just that's replica. Replica colours. Colours, but the originals the are. I know it is fantastic, what a isn't it? That is. So this is X Team. Savosco? Yeah. Fabio Bilatoli. Oh, Fabio Bilatoli. RS500. 65 to 85 grams. I just, what's just meant? It is, yeah. isn't it? I just love the, I mean, the colours. And the, it's a bit reminiscent of that NS400 in there. The yeah. replica. They built basically them. Yeah, on this. Off, so off this, the, back um, of these, didn't the triple, it was the NS500, which was the works team. And then the year after, they uh, went to a V4. But they made the triple available to privateer teams, and which was the RS500, and, is that what and this that's was? what this is. Right. Yeah, right. It's tremendous, isn't it? It's nice. It's yeah, very nice. I it? bet it's brutal. Not sure Absolutely about this bit here. brutal. Oh yeah. Cross eyes. This is my favourite bit. Who's yeah. doing it? You, you. do it. Yeah, yeah. I do it. Yeah, you yeah. do it. Yeah, this bit here. <laughs> 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 oh, the integrity <laughs> of the channel's gone. <laughs> That's not... You do it just in case you're... Cramping my ribs now from laughing. It's not going to be the same as when you do it, is it? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So anyway. anyway. I love this. I love this. I'll tell you what I like about this. I like... I've always liked this about Honda as well. You know how the, the tank sits over the frame? Yeah. Remember on the RS... 125s when yeah. the early one and then I remember buying a carbon tank that did that like the RS 250s that's mint it's got some history same clocks as like the RS 125 yeah, isn't it? Like, yeah so very similar sort of, aren't they um, it's, nice, it? it's it, I just love this 65 to 85 thousand pounds does it say it's in running order then so could you run this at like a demonstration day or those kind of things uh, it, or is it just a static mean, piece you've asked me a question I don't know the answer to mate I'm saying that though it has got a 2021 sticker on it, so I think it has. Uh, it's ran at some demonstration, yeah. some demo laps. Yeah. It's got world classic racing bikes. Emma, uh, Emma. Yeah. Wow. What wow. a track. What a track. <laughs> what a, tra what a, what a track. What a track. <laughs> yeah. That round. Yeah. yeah. Stunning. Will anyone buy it though? Is there, is the money about to buy it? See, 65 k's. It's a it's a chunk it's of change. It's a lot of money yeah. in it. What we found out from that last video that we did, the last auction video. The ones that we thought we were going to make decent money, they got, they got absolutely nowhere near, did they? The yeah, market seems to be very flat. They? Yeah. Absolutely slow. So, with that in mind, guy pricing this, 65 to 85,000 pounds. Now, one thing that we learned from that last auction video, that these bikes, you think, 
you know, it's a lot of money. It's a, it's a chunk of change that is, isn't it? And, and last time, not one got close, did they? Not even. Not one not got even, even close. close no. so, not even close. With that in mind, you know, where's the market at? Is it is the money not you know swishing around for these kind of bikes or not? It's it's just up in the air. Mm. No idea. I'm, but based on that, I'm going to say, I'm going to say forty grand. Really? As yeah. low as that? As low as that, 25 yeah. grand under. Yeah, I'm going to say 40 grand. I think I'll make a bit more. I'm going to, I'm going to say 50. 50. It's still under the guide then. Still under the guide, and yeah. And 65 to 85k. Uh, what did I say? 40. I made a mistake. Uh, I'd Too late say now, 58. So no, yeah, so we, I think just because I didn't think anything made the guy price before, but I, do you know what this is going to be? This is going to be our RG five hundred. Oh yeah, again, people will be saying when, when you guys. Yeah, yeah, when this sells one hundred and ten thousand pounds, it's like pounds. you guys know F O. F O. Which we <laughs> yeah don't. Well, which really. we don't. Who well, you does? You, you know, yeah. you're taking a punt, aren't you? Yeah. I love it though. Yeah. I love if it. you had 50, 60, 70 grand spare, would you buy it? Yes, yeah. mate. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Would. Question. Buy you a two bedroom semi detached house and yeah, but it, it would also buy this. Look at Dom's big horn. <laughs> I love a horn, mate. Look Who's at that. Sat in that though? Look at that though. Strap down. Strap to the windows and yeah. get the old oh, strap you on. Are oh, you trusting that? I it's don't think a that's a convertible. I reckon that's a replacement. Yeah, it looks like, well, it's just someone's belt. I know, it's mine, I think. In fact, I'll swap mine, it's bare. I could do the belt. <laughs> Family transport, there you go. Family you vehicle. What I'm not convinced about, though, is the quality of the brakes. The brakes. I'm not sure, I mean, I don't know how fast it goes, but I would be slightly concerned that this is my only stopping device. Mm. How fast do you reckon that does? Five. Oh, ten. Seriously? I don't know. 10 mile an hour? No, more than that, isn't it? It's cool. It won't stop. I'll go for 15 if you have anything. <laughs> 15? It's got to do 20 mile an hour. It goes faster to 0 to 15 than it would it's stop. It's going faster to 0 to 15. That's the only great. Oh, sorry. Let's get out of the way, boys. Yeah. Let's get out of the way. Anyway, very vain. Alright, so where are we going now? TZs? Yeah. Oh, into the dance section. The dance hall. Into the dance hall. So, what we got here? Two, two, TZ. two TZ250s. Not big money. Now, when you consider that, what, like them, is it 5 k so, so the 5 KEs was the latter model. They're doing they like 20,000 pounds. Yeah, and then the DP was the one before, and even them are sort of like. I like the DP, 4 DP. Yeah, yeah. Where well, yeah. these things here, three and a half, four grand a pop. It's now no. really. I'm sure that's more than that, shouldn't it? Right, that's what the guide is on them. Guide price is three. Probably out's worth a pun to sales then, that. Are you sure? Check that out. I'll check that out. What lot number? 235, right at the beginning. 234 and 235. 234 and 235, right, okay. This one here, number 83. Three grand. Three grand. Three grand start, that. And this may be honourable mention that uh, our old Mate Foxy used to ride one of these, didn't he? Yeah. Steve Bagnall. Yeah, Steve Bagnall. I'm sure he had. If anyone's familiar with uh, Darley Moore and stuff, a TZ 250S. This is what he had, wasn't it? Yeah. I had a go at Darley Moore on one of these. I'd, I'd done a few laps on my RS 125 Honda. What was that, 98? And I jumped off that with its power jet carb, and Foxy was waiting in the paddock with his blue one of these, wasn't it? Waiting to go. I jumped on it, bump. Oh my God. I myself. Is that why you got false teeth now then? Yeah, it? just rattled them out, <laughs> mate. It vibrated. It was mad. I mean, it, it's got a frame that looked like my old TZR 250 1KE thing, you know, road bike. But three grand that. Well, three to five. I don't know if they're, they're worth anything. So what year is that? That's 86, right? 86, 87. Yeah. And then the reverse cylinder. 86. Next to it. So this was two years later. Two years later. Reverse cylinder. The same kind of money as well. Four to six grand guide. So this is worth less than our TZR reverse cylinder road bike, which is bonkers, isn't it? 
And this one looks quite clean. Mm. It does look clean, doesn't it? So basically this is a trap version to what we've got. That's it, look, so the similarities in the swing arm, yeah. where the car, so the carbs are at the front. So would this, originally, when it came in the factory, would this have looked like ours? And someone's built it to this spec? No. No, this, no, this, is, a, yeah, this, this is a, this is a purpose, purpose built purpose race built bike. Race. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you can see some of the similarities oh, yeah. with it, yeah. you know. Like with this one where the carbs are on the back and the exhaust come out the front, the reverse linder, they put the, the carbs down at the front underneath the rad yeah. and the exhaust comes straight out the back of the cylinder. Four to six grand for that. Now that's a classic track day bike all day yeah, long, isn't that it? Is, if you want to do your classic track days, this is the tool to have, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I would be tempted to, if that was the guy price, I think that's quite low. I'd be tempted to do you reckon to it's going this. to go up above or below I think I, well, I'll put my price in. I'll, I think eight. On this one? Mm. What was the guide on that? What was it? Two, three, four? Eight grand? Yeah, I'm going to put above. No, mate, I think you're miles off. Being an expert. <laughs> I don't know. On, well. on prices. So this one then, slightly more, 1988, four to six thousand pounds. I think it'll go above the guide. And you're price. going eight. Too late, you've already said Well, it. I've said it now, innit? Right. Maybe seven, but I'll go eight. No, 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 you said eight. You said eight. You definitely what, said eight. What are you eight. going for on this, mate? Uh, five and a half. I'm going to say six. Six grand. What about this one? This one was lower, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking those couple of bits missing off this, the fairing, etc. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Three to five thousand quid. So what are you saying on this one? Three to five thousand. I think this will be, I'll go first on this. I'm going to say four thousand two hundred. Absolute bargain. I don't think the money's in these ones. Four and a half. What did you say, Dan? Four two. Four two. Uh, Three to five is the guide. I'll go four. On the notes, did you say four? So you're going four thousand over on that one, yeah, and two thousand under on this one. Do I measure me bats? Yeah, be interesting. I'm really interested. Well, if I, if I locked in four on that, then four grand on that, then. yeah, yeah. 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 I'd actually, yeah. I'd, I'd probably think that might. I think it might go a bit more. I think. I think I've, that one. Yeah, I, I just think two fifties. You don't oh, get, yeah, you don't no, get 250s cheap though, do you? I, mean, that, I just think they Well, it'd be oh. interesting to find out yeah, whether you do or you don't. So if you bought one of these for a classic track day... It's got dry clutch, that has. Right. Classic track... And that has. Classic track day, yeah. these, and you go it out in the club, and it goes bang. Yeah. What are they like for bits now? Oh, awful, I would imagine, aren't they? So is that what's driving the price down? Is it that that's driving the price down? I think it might be... Just that they say this won't be competitive in that two-stroke no, series, no, wouldn't it? Off, like, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off. So if you were racing one, yeah, probably you would be a bit off, like. But right then, is this this is a bit of history on this one. Yeah, no. So it's in my top two, and I can't decide between the RS500 or this. Right then, mate. So tell us a bit about this bike then. Well, from what I'm reading, from the from the catalogue. X-Works, Barry Sheen, 1974, Suzuki TR750, Formula 750. This has got um, original cases, engine, frame is all legit Barry Sheen, this is. Forks, I think, are, might be replica. There's a couple of other replica bits, but... He wasn't thought, a bad rider in, was he? He was off decent. Well, he, he, could, he, he could pedal a bike, couldn't he? To me, like, so... As a bike, I think I prefer the RS500. But for the history, just to know that he just gives you a little bit of goosebumps, you know what I mean? He's a massive hero of mine, for sure, Barry Sheen. Loved him, loved him. He started the whole modern era of motorcycle racing, didn't he? You know, yeah, pioneer, he, wasn't he? Pioneer, wasn't he? He was a pioneer, yeah. yeah. You know, keeping the number seven. Yeah. You know, Rossi copied it, Schwantz copied it. Yeah, yeah. They? All, all the greats have copied what he did. Yeah. But to, to this, you are buying you are buying some real history, aren't you? Yeah. He sat on this. Yeah. You know, raced it 74 and 75. Yeah, so there was a story about that he reverted back to this after his Daytona crash. 
because of his injuries, this was slightly, the footrests were in a, like a lower position, so he found it a bit easier to get on with. Right, so that was, yeah. Because yeah. there's not much room, is there, between, yeah. between seat and foot peg, you know, they're not balmy, innit? Mm. When did he win first World Championship? 76. Same year as James Hunt, wasn't it? Right, yeah. I think it won it in the same year, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'd have to check that, but I think it, I think it was, wasn't it? I'm yeah. sure that was the... 120 to 140,000 pounds. Again, a big chunk, isn't it's it? It's a big chunk of change, however... It's probably... I think... One of the best. I think people are buying this. Seen. I think mm. people are buying this. Because it's his. Yeah. I think there's certain bikes, you yeah. know, like that Troy Bayless one, or, you know, people like that. Yeah. Well, I think the good thing, maybe a gauge is that uh, one of the other auctions, there's a Halewood Ducati 125. It was Mark Halewood's first bike owned by his dad. That sold for 120,000 and it was in like a barn fine condition. So what you got to think is Barry Sheen's sort of, is he on that sort of Halewood? Oh yeah, so, legendary. Yeah. legendary. Legendary status, legendary. isn't it? So yeah. yeah. If that... Yeah, I'm... I think this is going... I think it'll do 130,000. I do. 130,000. Guide, guide price was 120 to 140. Yeah, I think it'll sit bang in the middle, 130,000. I think it's worth every penny. I think someone will buy it just because of who's I, ridden I, it. I think you're dead right. I think that's. Uh, I'm going to go just over there. I'll go 137. 137? Yeah. 130. I'll go just under 125. Okay. All right. It's a lot of money, but I think I think someone yeah. will buy this. Yeah, I, I, I think personally, so. I think you've got it probably just right, I think. There, I think. Well, well, we'll find out. We'll, yeah. find, we'll out. find out. We'll find He's out. He's never been right before. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So, but from I'm not the, always right, but I'm never so wrong. So going though. over from Barry Sheen era. Ex Gary Nixon. Gary Nixon, but Gary. The only thing I know about Gary, I'm going to get. Slaughtered for Well, we've probably already been slaughtered of everything well, else we've true. just talked about. The so. only thing I know about Gary Nixon that Barry Sheen used to wear a Gary Nixon t shirt. It was the it was the American flag with, with Nixon on it, wasn't it? So Nixon was obviously a bit of a hero of Barry Sheen. Um, but other than that, I don't know much about it. No. Ex Team Hansen, Gary Nixon bike, let's get the watch call it on it. 120 to 160. So, unique prototype chassis, designed by Randy Hall for Team Hansen, authenticated by Randy Hall, known ownership history. Yeah, Formula 750 bike, wasn't it? Yeah. Formula 750 bike. And Ontario 2000 by Paul Smart. Oh yeah, Paul Smart, yeah. Yeah, bye, yeah, 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 yeah. Paul Smart, was that um, Barry Sheen? Never won Daytona. Oh, did it not? No, it never, this or its predecessor never, Never won the sort after Daytona. Right. So, but yeah. So same money, machines. Yeah. Now, but this to someone maybe in the States. Yeah, oh yeah. Gary so Nixon, like some big hero. Yeah, I think this will probably, probably get someone bidding from the States then on this, yeah. I reckon. It looks nicer than that. Mm. Do you not think? Yeah, it's love the bit, yeah, fair I love the nice like number nine. Group. Yes. It's proper flat track style, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Like, yeah. Well, Gary Nixon was a flat, good flat track rider, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. When it, this, though, reminds me of the new Aprilia GP bikes, that ground effect, yes. bulbous fair. You know, obviously yeah. it's not doing that job, but you know, the style, I love it. I think it looks mint. It looks better than that one. So, you've got 120, 130 grand spare. Yeah. Barry Sheen all day long, oh, me, but, yeah. you know, um, I still think this will this will do good money. Yeah, I think someone's stateside a lot of money. Yeah, someone Maybe. online. Yeah. I, Me yeah. first then, is it? Yeah. yeah. 125. I'll go 130. 110. Are you going under? I'm going under, slightly under. Because I don't know if it's got the kudos that the Sheen bike's got. Mm. It has in America, apparently. It has, well, yeah, could well have. But I love it, I love it. I love its history, I love the bike. I think it looks mint. Mm. But yeah, I'm going to go one ten. Kawasaki don't hold the money either, do they? No, 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 no. Kawasaki <laughs> don't hold the money. Absolutely. 
Right, so thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we've obviously given you some sound financial advice on, <laughs> on bike investment, so take that you know, at face value. Um, we'll have a results show coming up so you can see how badly we've done again. But why, feel free to get involved, have a go, put some guests in the comments, and then we can review that in, yeah. the, in, the, in the review and show. And see let us know what your favourite bike was as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely, it's a good idea. What's yeah. your favourite, mate? Uh, Take one home, money, no object, what are you taking? Sheen bike. Sheen bike. Sheen bike. And yeah. uh, RS500 for me. Yeah, I'm torn between the two. You've got to be Sheen just for the history of it. I know, I know, but the RS500 looks so nice. Yeah, Come yeah. on, man, he was your hero. I know. Money. Sorry, Barry, I'm going the RS500. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, let us know what Even your favourite Barry thinks you're <laughs> And on that note, See you next Tuesday.